300 horsepower. Ugh, it is such a magical number. It is the perfect amount for public street fun and private track domination. Today, I found you eight 300 horsepower rides that won't break the bank. I'm Brad, this is Ideal. Like, subscribe, and let's go. If the G37 is the first car on this list, well, you know that this is an idealist. At the business end is a VQ37 that is good for over 300 horses. And jump behind the wheel and you'll stand out and look sophisticated. The G37 is awesome, and in my opinion, a pretty underrated car. I mean, get one with rear wheel drive and a manual, and you've literally got a 370Z in a more luxurious package. Go fast in two doors or the more economical four door layout, but either way, you're surrounded by luxury in America's favorite skyline. Manual G37 for a couple bucks under 10K? <laughs> we are off to a very hot start. And of course, I've linked to all these ideal picks down in the first comment, so go check them out. You might end up buying one. And real quick, this video is sponsored by Harry's. Now, they've been a sponsor in the past and I've used them for quite a while now. And I've had great quality shaves ever since. Now, I may not have the best beard on the team, I'm looking at you, Trav, but I get the most compliments on how smooth my neckline is. So, Harry sent me this starter kit and comes with my favorite ever foaming shave gel, which is just the best. And they sent me this green razor, which is really nice. And these blades are pristine, being made in their factory in Germany for well over 100 years. And guys, these razors aren't just for men. In fact, my wife loves using them as well. And her legs come out silky smooth every time. And Harry's offers fair pricing for everybody. So everything you need at a factory direct price. And if you want the starter kit, it's only five bucks if you click the link down below. And that's a $13 value for only five bucks. It's totally worth it. So thanks for supporting the sponsors that support us. Now back to the show. Okay, I think you'll agree that Chevy nailed it with the fifth generation Corvette, which perfectly blends raw power with refined sports car performance. Under the hood, you'll see that infamous LS. Stock, it churns out 345 horses, but we all know that LSs can make big power. And this chassis is overbuilt and up for the challenge. A supercharger is only a phone call and a credit card swipe away and you're looking at around 500 horses. And remember guys, these things only weigh a hair over 3,000 pounds. Regardless of what power you're putting down, the C5 bed is a favorite amongst enthusiasts because it's reliable, it's fast, and well, it's straight up gas. Definitely, you can't get much better when it comes to value. I mean, check out this C5 that changed hands for right around 10K. Yes, these things are growing on me fast. Rear wheel drive, an optional manual, a peppy 3.8 liter that yes, makes 306 horses. And come on, these things look way too good modded. Plus the noises that these things make. Well, well done Hyundai. This thing is no slouch. And with its sleek lines and aggressive stance, it's a certified head turner. If you've ever wanted to get into drifting, this is a top tier choice. It's a pretty ideal platform at a great price. Check out this one for just 7,600 bucks. Man, I definitely would have bid on that one. 2011, that was a very big year for Ford. They brought back the centerpiece of American muscle, the mighty five liter V8, AKA the Coyote. 412 horses shoves your head into the headrest and the facelift pony car had more aggressive styling cues better headlights, a revamped rear, and that masterpiece of an engine knew how to throw down. The Coyote was designed with high flow cylinder heads, dual overhead camshafts, and four valves per cylinder, which roughly translates to, this thing rips. It's earned a reputation for performance and durability, and it's easily one of the most robust power plants on today's list. And yes, you can find these for just over 10, but if you sign up for our new free Ideal Car Strategies workshop, you can definitely negotiate these down like a pro for way less. I've linked to it in the description below. Go check it out, you might learn something. Yes, you guys all love the 350Z. I mean, what's not to like? Well, it's younger brother. 
the 370Z. With 332 horses firing out of that tasty 3.7 liter VQV6, tries to one up its older brother. It's more contemporary looking, sports a rear wheel drive platform for those times you need a dab of oversteer in your life. And heck, it's got synchro rev match or assisted rev matching to help you shift like a champ. If you find one that's been driven hard and put away wet, well, you'll want to make sure the rev-matched synchros haven't been worn out, especially on the first to second and third to fourth throw. Other than that, there's a reason these got hit hard with the drift techs. They are reliable and way too much fun to drive. Yeah, buddy, this Z can be yours for under 10K. Bet you guys didn't even know this car existed. The Mustang isn't the only 5.0 on the block. This four-door sedan's V8 fires out a healthy 429 horses. It was the car to showcase Hyundai's appetite to take on the likes of BMW, Mercedes, and Lexus. And to handle all that power, you get R-Spec big brakes, a Shiftronic transmission that lets you shift your own gears, which is cool, but not nearly as fun as newer dual clutch designs. And because this was Hyundai's attempt to push the envelope, you'll likely find some random electrical gremlins hiding in plain sight. It's got big power, a limited slip differential, and a whisper quiet exhaust you'll definitely want to trade out for something aftermarket. Yeah, you're gonna have to explain what it is to every one of your best car friends, but you won't have to explain the incredible performance value of paying under 9K for 429 horses. Hell, this one's barely out of its 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. 2.5 liter turbocharged inline five making a sweet, sweet 296 horsepower. But Brad, I, I thought this was about cheap cars that have over 300. Well, it is. That's why if you snag this brand new ideal sticker up here, well, it adds five horsepower and you'll have over 300 horses in this car. Yes, the S60R is as cool as your crazy ex-girlfriend. It makes turbo noises, has a trick complicated Haldex system to get all that power to the ground, but it's like dating a Swedish supermodel. And I'll just let Trav explain. Yeah, so like a model, these are a lot of fun to look at. They're easy on the eyes, but once you take them on a date, it gets expensive fast. It's the car you dream about, but maybe don't be about. The 4C adjustable suspension was a standout feature when new, but it's prone to fail and costs an arm and a leg to fix. It's a cool, quirky sedan that I wouldn't recommend to anyone that isn't a seasoned technician and likes to spend money on repair parts. But hey, some of us aren't as smart as Trav or as good looking. So I'd be tempted with this steal of a deal for 7K. Heck, I've always wanted to date a supermodel. This thing flies under the radar, but it definitely flies. Thanks to its big old V8 hiding under the hood. It's the sleeper you never knew that you needed, but with 303 horses, it's ready to take unassuming motorists to Gapplebee's. This was peak GM weirdness. I mean, who thought putting a truck engine in a front wheel drive car was a good idea? It doesn't make any sense. These cars have ungodly amounts of torque steer in a straight line. Understeer is a term you'll get to know well in the corners, and there's really no room to work on it under the hood but I'm secretly totally into it. Ah, yes, the Bavarian Beast with a 4.7 liter V8, throwing around 362 healthy horses. You get luxury, you get class, and this thing is faster than it has any right to be. Unfortunately, it's tragically unreliable. This generation of BMW V8 is without a doubt one of the worst engines to come out of Germany, and it's paired with an unreliable chassis. From failed valve stem seals, oil leaks, power steering leaks, power sway bar leaks, to electrical malfunctions, infotainment problems. 15 minutes later. Oh, and the bangle butt. Then there's the intelligent battery sensor and the Yes, it's the V6 Camaro, but it's still pumping out a healthy 312 horses. It's more than a similar option Mustang, and I absolutely love this retro style bow tie special. Plus with an exhaust, you almost think it's a V8. Almost. You know that I know that your mom knows that Dodge is known for fire-breathing horsepower, and the four-door Charger RT delivers a performance of a lifetime. 
pop that hood and you're met with a beautiful 5.7 liter Hemi V8, which yes, spits out that distinctive Hemi growl while cranking out 370 horses. And 370 will move you fast or let you do burnouts for days. Plus, since it's a full-size sedan, you have all the room inside for you and your friends. And you could even get this gen in all-wheel drive in case you need that extra traction. One word, all-wheel drive Hemi. I'm no good at math. You know I love me some Mopar, and this is definitely an ideal pick. It's one of the best generations of any muscle car ever. It just does everything well. I think they look great, they sound great, and I'm sure Brad's gonna tell you they're a great deal too. Of course, I mean, I could totally see you ripping around in this thing for just 8,500 bucks. So, which 300 horsepower ride is your ideal pick? Or which car did we miss? Let us know down below. Please like, please subscribe, and turn on that notification bell, and check out this Ideal vid up here, or whatever YouTube recommends you watch next. I'm Brad, this is Ideal, and promise me one thing, keep living the Ideal lifestyle.